Salam Makin for Top in Korea, how Wopa Hashim, Yawa Shai, Bahashim, Makakodash, Dabur Anfat Milstone, and Saiji Tulek. I'm gonna guess and get a lesson on real quick. Based off, bro, of what you receive, bro, of what you receive, bro, most any part of life, man. <laughs> because you gotta understand that regardless of whatever the world can give you on this side, is nothing, bro, is nothing compared with the Lord can give you, bro. Now let's say that you go back in the world, right? Let's let's say hypothetically you go back in the world. Well, yeah, bro, there's not much shit there for you. If people in the world hate living the fucking world, right? What makes you think that you'll be any fucking better? <laughs> people in the people in the world do all they do all the bullshit. They hate their fucking lives, bro. Sometimes they damn near kill themselves sometimes. But yep, they're in the world. You being a man of the truth, you start to go back to that shit, bro. I'll be honest, man, there's nothing there for you. Be something. Look this up real quick. Yeah, let's say, alright, you go back, bro. Alright, well, how much like, how much money are you about to make in? So look this up real quick. Wanna go back for money? So yeah, the average, so let's put the average salary rate in the U.S. Real quick, it's like it. I messed up earlier. To be honest, most likely you're not going to. Yeah, I can make them where you're about to be probably the same, right? <laughs> so, yeah, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median weekly income, including overtime commission and tips for full time workers, <laughs> excluding those who are self employed, in America was $1,041. As the second quarter of 2022, if that rate persists for the entire year, then it equals to 54 grand a year, basically. And honestly, bro, a lot, man. Being being a million, being a millionaire now, honestly, doesn't mean shit anymore, bro. Because the money hasn't gone up so fucking much, man. Thank you for having your nerds on the right. Houses. Cost roughly from 300 grand to 500 grand, bro. Like, what kind of living is that, man? <laughs> like, that's saving a million dollars. Like, a million dollars ain't worth shit now. A million dollars is you barely get by. Like, you, you comfortable. That's about it. You barely have enough to be comfortable. So, let's, have, let's go see when you get receiving the kingdom, man. This is John 3 and verse 14. And read. This is John 14 verse 13. And read. Whatsoever you should ask in my name, that will I do. That the, Father, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If he shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. So much as if you ask anything in your house and name, bro. And not me at this side, man. Because this side is casual criteria. That's your help. Find the kingdom, bro. Hey, you're gonna have it, bro. Anything you want, bro. Any desire that you have, any desire that you think you did have. <laughs> Basically, like, everybody, man, whatever you're doing right now, it ain't living, bro. I tell you that for a fact, man. <laughs> whatever life you have of working this and that, man. Like, like well, you might have a decent pay, might have a vacation here and there. But I'm gonna be honest, it is nothing, com it is fucking nothing compared to these Edomites. Because, like, well, a while ago, like, last summer and shit, I was, I was thinking about this. <laughs> you know, I went, I went to, I had a va little vacation and shit, and I went where all, you know, all these Edomites live, because they have nice place, they have nice places and shit, so I got a scared, got an Airbnb and shit, and I realized, looking around, <laughs> these Edomites, bro, they, bro, they're, they live it up, man. They have no, they have not a single fucking worry in the world. 
they're all there smiling and enjoying the weather. It was in a beach house, so like they're all enjoying this beach and shit. I'm like, these they might, they 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 living, bro. They, and was whatever, they whatever I was before. That's slavery, dog. Yeah, that's true, bro. Honestly, this life is just fucking slavery, man. <laughs> and most likely, man, like you like people I know, they never they never made it to that, bro. They're never gonna enjoy East. You're not gonna. You're never gonna enjoy East South Blessing, man. Let you fucking sell out. And if you sell out, bro, they give you a raw deal and still fuck you over. Say, so, hey, bro. So honestly, whatever. And that's honestly just a small portion, but the Lord can give you fucking anything. The Lord can give you literally anything, bro. You want a whole planet, man? There you go. You want to have a want to have a harem, bitches, bro? Go right ahead, as you want, bro. You want to shoot line up your fucking hand? Go right ahead, man. Hey, you want to have perfect weather day in and day out? Control the weather you want to rain this day. Want this like that, man. <laughs> have a lake in your backyard. Hey. That's in the kingdom, bro. So, hey, don't worry. It won't. Don't ever worry what you lost here, man. Because <laughs> honestly, anything here is it's, it's honestly literally nothing compared to the kingdom, man. That's you see, if you should ask my name, same thing as John 14 verse 14, you, say, you should ask anything in my name, I will do it. So you gotta remember that, bro, that, hey, fuck this place, bro. Fuck everything it has here, everything it can do, anything you think that it can bring or satisfy in your life, bro, it ain't, it's honestly really nothing. Because whatever you get here, it can be taken away, man. If I can get that real quick. <laughs> so honestly, they say uh, anything here. Just real quick, this Matthew 16 verse 19. And it reads, Lay not of yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rusts of corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But you that, you can steal them, bro. Anything, get anything, literally, fucking anything you have here, man. You can in your house. Hey, Esau can take that shit back. If Esau is using it necessary to take away from you, he will. <laughs> or even just fucking break him, man. But let's just scan those motherfuckers, bro. They'll take literally anything you got. And keep from themselves, man. They'll rob you. They'll motherfucking rob you, man. A fucking earthquake and hit and shit, and you all you lost all your shit, and the fucking insurance company doesn't cover in that. If you lost your job, this and that, your car broke down, like anything you hear, bro, it's all temporary, man. Anything here, you, you gotta remember, you could lose at any moment. You can make, you can like imagine that you can enjoy the first day at your fucking new luxury house, right? And you can end up in a fucking, you can end up in a car wreck. A week later, well, and all these bills fucking pile up, like, well, you're gonna pay or not. Like, well, I was in the hospital, like, too bad, so sad. Someone gotta pay for this. You can't be, not for free. So, yeah, man, so they don't worry. It's like, it's just a, lay not your such treasures upon earth for moth and rust of corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. This is, but verse 20, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Lay up for treasures in heaven, man. Where neither moth nor rust of corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. <laughs> For where your treasure is, there your heart be also. So whatever you can gain on this side, man, it's honestly nothing, bro. Whatever you can gain on this side, you gotta understand it. It doesn't matter, bro. Any you guys said. Be taken away at English, any single fucking moment, bro. Because on this world is temporary, bro. This world is temporary. This is what your life is in vapor. That here for a short. I'm gonna get that real quick. <laughs> because like I said, life is vapor. Life you can go to not man. You can work. You can work all day and night for good. Make all make all that money. By the time it comes to hey, the Lord can see if it's where you died that day. Before you even get any of that, bro. 
Lord can see where I could die tomorrow. This is that is John 14, verse 14. Sorry, John 4 and verse 14. And are these words you know not what should be tomorrow? For what is your life? It is even it is even a vapor that appear for a little time to vanish away. Your life is a vapor that appears for a little time to vanish away, man. So hey, don't worry what you get here, bro. Honestly, count anything you got here as fucking dumb. It's it's worthless. It's, it doesn't mean shit at the end of the day. It's not really worth having anything here on this side, man. On this side, bro. Anything anything be stolen from you. That remind me, I know this one dude. It's when you work as one dude. He had all these he had all these scholarships, right? He's ready to go. To go big, basically, like how going universities a fucking Harvard and Yale, where the fuck, some shit like that. But he got into a coma for like six months. He lost all that shit, and now he doesn't have any of that, bro. The Lord can do that to you. The Lord can fucking do that shit to you, man. Say, so, hey, like, whatever you get, it can be fucking you. Everything you're entitled to on this side. Hey, they are like, no, you, no, you ain't, man. And this side, bro, ain't nothing. It's all fucking Esau's blessing, bro. It's everything here is for Esau's blessing, man. Here we say, we gotta learn how wickedness rules, bro. So when righteousness comes to you, you'll do it more. You, you say, this is the what the wicked rule, man. There's homeless, but people are in poverty, people are starving, man. And yet, these. Rich cats, bro, they living it up. Have money to spare, money they could give out money to every single person who still have more left. Like goddamn. So don't don't think that honestly like there's nothing here you're, you're really losing. <laughs> On this side, bro, there's nothing you really lost. Because what you receive, what you receive is way fucking more, bro. This is Luke 18, verse 7 and reads, so you, you know, you, and he says, Not a howl avenge his own leg, but she cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with them, says, I will avenge you speedily. Say, hey, man, you enemies, bro, hey, the Lord will take that, it will take care of that for you. He's somebody to take care of that for you, bro. On the world, yeah, you can probably do some shit. But it might not be you fucking arrested in jail, lost your job, doing this, doing that, doing some stupid shit that you shouldn't do. With the Lord, you feel like the Lord deal with it, man. And I've seen my own two eyes, bro, the Lord dealing with situations, bro. You're like, well, oh, goddamn. Yeah, I remember one time, a while ago, my boss cut, my boss cut my hours and shit, bro. Like, I was like, fuck, bro, like. Like whatever the Lord's gonna deal with it, like like what the Lord's gonna deal with it, the Lord's got me, man. I remember a few days later, bro. He had the Lord had that motherfucker cut his hand open and shit. Fucking, but he had to go to the ER, room this whole vacation and shit, man. And once I saw that shit, hey, that's hey, that's from Jeremy Lord. See, if any, he he found one of the little ones. Hey, that's Jeremy Lord, bro. It doesn't mean detainous. Or you might name you might name that to see it, ever see it, bro. But the Lord will got you, man. The Lord has you. As long as you keep doing this truth, hey, the Lord has you, bro. So count whatever worldly thing you can have, whatever worldly thing you think you gain a lot of money. Hey, the Lord can take care of you, bro. He'll take care of my money. Not enough saying to be lazy as fuck and this. Or Lord got to, Lord got to, or yeah, or, or, uh, like something you might have to find your job. And you might have, and that's it. I'm saying you gotta get, get like, hey, I want to raise. But hey, Lord will help you through it, bro. And Lord doesn't see fit, you don't want to do that, it's not gonna happen. But you still gotta put in, you still gotta put in the effort, man. I've seen these be bums and shit, like, oh, fucking work at a cash or McDonald's, and hopefully, it's, you fucking make all this fucking money, like, obviously you can't do stupid shit like that, man. 
You do not tempt the Most High, man. But yeah, bro, it's eight. Trust in Most High. Dude, trust in Most High, man. Because at the end of the day, hey, you receive it all. You receive everything that you ever wanted. Everything you desired, much this will be yours. You want true relaxation? You want to live truly? You want to say fucking live truly, man? Hey, the Lord got that, bro. But thank of all praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakodash, as I can show.